Hello everyone, welcome to SFDC Learn and Share YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of the summer 20 features to checking the user permissions and custom permissions in Lightning Web Components. For the standard permissions are a standard way to control access and behavior in a Salesforce application. But while developing the Lightning Web Components, we need to check either the logged in users have the permissions or not. So before summer 20, to check the logged in users have the permissions or not, we need to build the server side logic using the Apex controller with the help of the future management to checking the permissions, either the logged in users have the permissions or not. But after summer 20 onwards, we can check the permissions, that is the logged in users have the permissions or not, while importing the user permissions and custom permissions from the scoped module. Let's take one simple example. Here I have the one of the component. In this component, I have the three buttons. Those three buttons, now it's a disable mode. Let's take the example. I have the send, send email, and send SMS. There are three buttons in my Lightning Web component. If you see here, this is the component. I have the three buttons, one send, send email, and send, send SMS. All the button I added default, it's disabled. Let's take the example, the send email to enable over the logged in users have the permissions called view, setup, and configuration. The send email button to enable Whoever have the sent email access from the profile level and send SMS button to enable whoever have the custom permission, you can say send SMS. So default, the view setup and configuration and send email access available in the system admin profile. Let's try to create a new custom profile and disable the view setup and configuration and send email access and we'll check. So let me go to the profile and I'm creating the new profile. Let's try to clone from the existing profile, called the standard user profile. The profile name, let's call it as summer 20 demo. Let's say let me go to edit the profile which we created the custom profile called summer 20 demo. From here, let's find the sent email. So I am disabling the sent email permissions from the custom profile and also let's try to disable the view setup and configuration. So we have multiple permissions. In this demo, I am using the view setup and configuration and send email permission. I am disabled in the custom profile. Let's go to save. And then we'll assign the one of the users in this profile. So let me go to my user. So if you notice here, there are two users in a system administrator. Let me try to change the profile called summer 20 demo, the user name called. Here I am trying to change the profile as the summer 20 demo, the custom profile. This profile, we disable the view setup and configuration and the sent email permission. Now let's build the logic from Lightning Web Component. So as I mentioned, we need to import the user permissions and custom permissions from the scope module. Import, and we can name it as has view setup from Salesforce module at the red Salesforce slash user permission 
Trans view setup. This is the API for the view setup and configuration. I will show you where we can get this API. Let's import the other, the sent email access. We'll name it as has email single from the Salesforce module. User permission slash email single. This is the API name for the sent email access. To get that the exact API name, let's go to the profile Salesforce profile field. Click the profile so API developer guide. From there, we can get the, the all the fields related to the profiles. If you see the fields, the description and name. So here the permissions. So here we can get to know the view setup and email single. If you go to the developer console and open the profile object, click open and from the objects type profile. So all the profile related access gets stored in this object profile. It's a standard object. If you see the all the permissions, so from the profile level, these are the fields under the permissions, which have from the developer console, from the profile, the meta object definition, we can find out the access, the relevant API name. For view setup and configuration, we can say like permissions view setup, yeah. drill down further. view setup so just to remove the permissions and use for the view setup so similar way the sent email the permissions called email single the permissions email single let me see this is the one if you have enabled the mass email then we need to use the email mass i'm disabled the email single that is a single email message so i'm using that api name so still, if you want to get the exact API name, what we what you can do is you can provide the permissions from either the profile level or permission set level from Visual Studio Code, go to the ARC browser and retrieve the permission set from my instance. I have one of the permission set called summer 20 demo. I retrieved, then go to your local folder in the permission set folder and open the, the permission set. If you see here, the user permissions level, you will get the exact API name. So the email single, that is the one I am using for getting the access, the send email access, and uh, the another one, view setup, that is a view setup and configuration. The logged in user have the view setup and configuration access, which we use the view setup. So this is the other way around, you can get the exact API name. Okay, so we imported the user permission for view setup and email single. If you see, we have the another button called send SMS. So we'll try to create one of the custom permissions called send SMS. So using the custom permissions, a way to provide the access to custom process or applications. So after we created a custom permissions, and we can associate it with your process or application. Custom permissions from the setup, go to the custom permissions. So once we created the custom permissions and then we can enable the permissions, uh, these custom permissions, either the permission set level or profile level. Let's go to create a custom permission. Let's name it as send SMS. And then we'll try to assign the sent SMS to the newly created profile. 
that is called summer 20 demo so as i mentioned the, the newly created the custom permission we can enable from the profile level or the permission set level so in this demo i am enabling from the profile level select the enabled custom permission click the edit and then the permissions it's appear in the available drop down enable that send the sms save so we created the custom permissions called send sms and we assigned in the custom profile let's try to import the custom permissions also from import module has send sms from salesforce module here we need to use the custom permission and plus the api name of the custom permission so we imported all three permissions the user permissions and custom permissions now let's try to check the user the logged in users have the the permission or not so whenever the logged in users navigate the particular component here its results get appear in the variable the property has view setup and has email single and has sent sms as a boolean result either the true or false let's define the disabled logic here let's make it as disable send button then use the get and then return the result of the, the, of the from the import return has view setup so if the logged in users have the view setup and configuration access then it's written as a true so if we return as a true then the disabled as a true then that means the button will be disabled but from our scenario we need to enable the button so if they, the logged in user have the access, then it's written as a true, then we need to make it as false using the not operator. Let's drive that logic in the sent email. Disable send email. Similar way, let's try to get the access. Let's send email button. Then from here, return the results from has email single. And again, if the logged in user have the access, it's written as a true. Then we'll, we'll try to convert from true to false using this not operator. Now, the send SMS, that is a custom button. Uh, custom permissions disable send sms button let's use same get disable send sms button return the results as per the has sent sms again it's written as a true if the logged in user have the permission we'll try to change as a false using the not operator so we define the logic let's try to deploy the component
so received the exception while getting the LWC bundle type module in the file. So the issue is, so the sales boss, it's a small letter while import from the sales boss, make sure it's a small letter. Let's try to read apply. So now components deployed. Let's go to a refresh from the developer account. So the components already enabled. Let's try to refresh. If you notice the send and send email, those two buttons, but so if you see the send and send email, those two buttons enabled. So I am logged in as a system admin profile, the system admin profile default, the send that's a view setup and configuration and send email, uh, those two access default available. So that's the reason it's enabled. The send SMS, that is a custom permissions. We are enabled only this permission, the custom permission from the custom profile, not for the, the system admin profile. Let's try to log in as the custom profile user and we'll see. So from that scenario, those two buttons, send and send email disabled and send SMS button to enable. To log in as the other users, let's go to the user and click the users here it's list out the user if you see the login access is not available to enable the login access so go to login access policies from there we can provide the access that is called to administrator can log in as any users so before enabling if you noticed there is no login permissions i am providing that Administrator can log in as any users from the login access policy section. Let's save and let's go to refresh the users. Then now the login access gets enabled in the summer 20 demo users. Let's try to log in as a summer 20 demo users. That's a user assigned as a custom profile. Now let's go to the app called LWC Dem Summer 20. If you noticed, now the send and send email button disabled and send SMS button enabled. So the send SMS derived from the custom permissions and send send email, that is a standard profile. Permissions called view setup and configuration and send email from this particular profile we disabled so that's the reasons the buttons disabled mode appear in the disabled mode so this is the way we can define and we can get the logged in users have the the standard permissions or custom permissions and based on that we can derive that logic whenever we are implementing the lightning web component so these features before summer 20 to get the logged in users permissions, we need to get those access from the server level. That's a Apex class using the future management from after summer 20 onwards. So we can achieve from the user permission and custom permission while importing from the Salesforce scope module. That's all about this video. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please don't forget to like and share and subscribe my SFDC Lane and Share YouTube channel. We'll see you in the another video. Thanks again.